Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In today's video is about text the path, a little bit more information. Somebody on Facebook just posted today, and it's kind of a reminder to everybody. When you take your text tool, instead of going up the text the path and running up the text, if you will just click on that edge and you can see that little squiggly line, and then start typing. It will type it on the, the path, no matter what the path is. And that's easily enough said and done. I wouldn't have to do anything. You still have your red marker where you can move it wherever you want on your path. But I also thought I'd show when you're doing it along a circle, and you get that little squiggly, uh, squiggly line. I'm, uh, I'm one of those people who can't talk and type. You've got that. But... And that's fine for typing on top of the, the line. But you can also do this. Let's just delete that. Let's take it one step further and get your little squiggly line. But then this time, go mirror it that direction and that direction. Now, it's going to look a little funny at first. And I can't even read what I'm spelling. Because I think it might be just me, my computer uh, having trouble uh, typing it. But when you click off of it, it is done. And then you can always use the red marker to move it. To me, it, this is easier than typing it out flat. Because it's Corel, for some reason, always puts it on the top or inverts it. But this way, you could actually see it. So let's just do that again. Grab your text tool, get it anywhere down here till you see that squiggly line. And when it's blinking on top, it's going to put it down here. So when you click it there, when you it's blinking on the bottom, so it's going to put it on top. But it's going to write it backwards, so you need to mirror it the other way. And uh, this time I'm not going to look at it. And there you go. And that little red marker will allow you to center it wherever you want. I actually like this. Uh, you know, when you're doing a standard text for path, you get a red marker where it tells you it's in the middle. And this you don't. So you're going to have to eyeball it. But you can, I don't know what I did there. You can bring down an indexing line and, and look close to see if your letters or on top of that line. And that looks pretty good. Now you can always take your shape tool, click on that text, and you can always stretch them out to get them a little further apart. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.